Hey, this is Justin Garcia, creator of the data display package for Concrete 5, which we're going to take a look at today. Um, this is really just going to be kind of a really quick run through, so um, forgive me if I don't go into a whole lot of detail. Um, I'm going to try to get, put together some other screencasts that will give some more detail on, on how everything works in uh, different sections of the package. Um, there really is a lot a lot to it. Um, and there's a lot of really different possibilities of things that you can do. Um, we're just going to kind of run through it really quick um, and give you an idea just of, of how it works. Um, so we're going to start here. This is basically a fresh C5 install with a few things added. Um, I just installed the data display package which creates a new page on the back end. And we come to that page. The first thing you want to do when setting up an instance of the data display package or putting it to use is you'll want to create a form. So for this example, what we'll create is a basic frequently asked questions list. So I'm going to create a form called FAQ form. Um, what this does is adds an instance of the form block to this page. So if I expand this down, it'll show the form right now. We can see um, there's no fields, just a submit button, so it's pretty use useless. So we want to go in and edit the form. Come here, click add. Um, and we'll need basically two fields for this uh, for this form, one of which is going to be a question. And of course, we will also need an answer, which we'll create as a text area. Add question, update that. If I expand this down now, you can see we've got two. We've got a question and an answer. You can add any number of fields to a form. Of course, anything you could potentially do with a form block, you can do here on this page, um, including you know, drop down list, uh, check boxes, file upload, any of that. Um, and you can just edit the form to do that. So I've got my form. So what I want to do now is go ahead and add data to that form. So I want to add my frequently asked questions. So we'll just kind of add some basic stuff in here. I'm going to do some basic questions. What is my name? My name is Justin Garcia. Submit that. Um, what is the best CMS? Of course, it's Concrete 5. Submit that and we'll say what is today. Today is Monday. Um, obviously pretty useless questions, but of course these are just for an example. So now we've got our data added. Um, what I want to do now is just to show you really quick, if I click view form data, that takes me to this data page with showing the data for this particular form. So I can see in a similar format to what you would see on the reports page when you're looking at your normal form data, you'll see basically the same thing here um, with a few things changed. Um, one of the major things is that you can actually change the data here. So if I wanted to change, um, you know, what? Uh, one of these questions and changes to today is Tuesday. Um, you can do that here. So any sort of altering of the data um, you can do on this page to any of the uh, fields you've submitted. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to create a list template. The list template is what will be the first thing that will be shown when I am using the, the data display block on the front end um, and basically shows a listing of um, all the records that have been submitted for a particular form. So I'm going to call this my FAQ listing. And this is the part that I'm probably going to go through pretty quick and um, hopefully should have, like I said, some other screencasts out pretty soon to give you a little bit more detail. Um, basically what I'm going to do is create a uh, unordered list that displays the Questions. Oops, that's not what goes there. Detail URL. And each of those questions is going to link to the detail template. So basically, the way this is going to work, it's going to start with the opening the unordered list, closing it with the footer here. It's going to loop through this for each question and display a list item that links to the detail URL. This is a placeholder. Um, that basically fills in with whatever the link to the detail URL is for this particular item. And this is another placeholder that um, is replaced with the value of question as it loops through. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. You'll also see real quick, just want to point this out, these validate links. 
This will take you off to the uh, W3 validator and validate whatever you have in this um, text area. It wouldn't work on this particular site because I'm working on my local computer, which is not publicly accessible, so your site would have to be publicly accessible for that to work. But um, if you are working on a live site or just a site that uh, is available on the internet, then you should be able to just validate and it'll it'll check this out because the reason I say that is that this has to be a uh, well-formed XML um, so that when it gets to the front end it is using the block um, in order to par properly parse this section and do all the replacing of different placeholders and things like that um, it has to be well-formed XML so uh, we've got this template saved so we'll go ahead and go to our create our detail template the detail template is what basically displays a single item. So our list template displays each item for a particular form. The detail template displays a single item that we have requested. Um, so we're going to create this is FAQ detail. And the way that we'll do this is we'll, we'll just put the question inside of an H2 tag. answer inside of a paragraph tag and then we will also put a link back to the list save that alright so now we've done everything we need to do on the back end so we'll go ahead and flip to the front end hopefully I didn't miss anything and we'll go to this data display page that I created a little earlier, edit this page, and delete this, this is block I added earlier, um, and we want to add the data display block to the front end. Um, as you can see, these are selected simply because they're the only ones that I've created, um, but there's basically three things that you have to select in order for this block to actually work properly, which are the a form, a list template, and a detail template. So you can see we've got our FAQ form that we're using, FAQ listing, and FAQ detail. Click add and it adds it to the page. And I'm going to exit edit mode so we can see how this works. So what it does is it loops through first the list template displaying each question inside of a list item just like we specified in the template. And you can click on any of these details and it'll take you to the detail page, put the question inside of an H2 tag, display the answer and also display the link back to the list um, and that's essentially how it works again there's a whole lot more to it that is different possibilities of different things you can do you can read about most of the details to that on the help page um, but hopefully this has been at least a little bit help helpful for you and thanks for tuning in